Yeah. It's way more than just fluids. It's way more than just carbon. It's the E, the S, and the G. Yes. Right? Which carbon yes. is a really teeny part of that in its true sense. But I agree with you. Headline porn or whatever you want to call it has created carbon. It's either carbon credits or you're not doing anything. And this is the problem. So when you start to look at, you know, our, our first use of this contracting vehicle that we did, and this isn't to say it's not, you know, being done everywhere, which it is in a lot of places, but it's being done without transparency. It's inefficiently. Um, and that's where there's a need for the rack. So back in 2012, um, United States Green Building Council used to have under V3 SS55 was one of the most useful tools for connecting green buildings to rural communities that I've ever seen. And what it allowed for was if you're doing habitat restoration on your site and you're in like New York or DC where you have no habitat, you could instead go and contract with someone else operating in a regenerative manner and those could earn you two points for your building. Well, that would, could be, you know, water reclamation projects in Southwest Iowa. Or what we found was um, habitat protection, habitat protection restoration, um, where we were able to get a farmer, and this is uh, Seth Watkins out of Pinhook Farm was our first guy working with us on this, which was we could pay him about $500 to $1,300 per acre to protect shagbark hickory, which is a vital habitat for Indiana bats. And these buildings all over the coast would pay for it because they just needed two points. 